Hi everyone, my name is Lister Priya Kamuja. I'm nine years old. I am an Indian climate activist and the founder of the child movement. I'm fighting to save our planet and our future. Thank you so much, TEDx MDI Gurgaon, for inviting me to speak in this program. I was born in Manipur, which is a small, beautiful northeastern state of India, but I have grown up in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. My birthplace is surrounded by lush green mountains and alluring atmosphere. I came to Delhi in 2016 for the first time, but my life became very messy due to the high air pollution and it turns me into a child climate activist. Later, I have moved to Bhubaneswar, Odisha for my schooling, and again my home in Odisha was hit by Cyclone Titli in 2018 and Cyclone Fani in 2019. All such incidents in my young life turns me into a child climate activist. When I was just around four years old, I accompanied my dad for raising funds for the victims of the deadly. Massive Nepal earthquake of, of 2015 where more than 10,000 people died and lakhs of people got injured. We went to Nepal all the way from India by the road to drop the foodstuffs, medicines, clothes, etc. for the victims, children and families. I get scared when on television I see people suffering and dying due to lack of awareness. I cry when I see children losing their parents or people becoming homeless due to danger of disasters. My country has many disasters like earthquake, flood, landslide, um, typhoon, air pollution, etc. At the same time, these are all the impact of climate change. That was the first time where I heard the words climate change and natural disasters, but I couldn't realize why, what exactly it is as I was a small baby that time and now I like that this could be the main reason why I'm concerned about the planet and our future. You see, why should I worry about the climate change? Why should I get concerned about the global warming? Why should I talk to the people about the various environmental issues happening around the world? I have to read my books, I have to play with my friends, I have to study, I have to read my beautiful childhood life. I have to enjoy my beautiful childhood life. But our leaders ruined all our beautiful childhood life. Climate change is not only for me or for you or for someone else. Climate change is for every single person living in this world. Each and every child living in this country, living in this world, are already the victims of climate change. That's why I'm fighting to save our planet and our future. You can just see in Delhi how air pollution is so dangerous. Even children can't move out of their homes. I'm worried about the health of the school children and small babies. Kami announced that, that they will bend the firecrackers for two or three weeks, will install two or three smoke tower in two or three places, but these are not the permanent solution. We don't want any temporary solution. We want permanent solution. And also, our leaders are just busy in blaming each other instead of finding a long-term solution. They are just playing the speech. They are not doing any action. I want our world leaders to do more action. Otherwise, our future and our planet would be dying soon. They must act now to save our planet and our future. And you can just see in Arctic and Himalayas how icebergs are melting twice as fast than ever before, and our sea level increasing, and our earth is becoming very hot. I'm really worried about the future of our planet, and many biodiversity hotspots become climate hotspots now. I think you all heard the news about Australia bushfire, California wildfire, Amazon rainforest fire, and Siberia forest fire. Billions of animals have died, millions of trees have gone, and really very sad. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't even take my food, many children lost their homes, but these are all the real effects of climate change. And why our leaders don't have the time to 
listen our voice. But this is the real effect of climate change. We must act now to save our our planet and our future. And um, when I was just in July 2018, when I was just around six years old, I I have gotten a chance to attend one United Nations disaster conference in Mongolia. It was my life changing event. After I returned back from Mongolia in July 2018, I have started my organization called the Tal Movement to call the world leaders to take immediate climate action to save our planet and our future. And, and also, um, Greater Thunberg greatly influenced me in February 2019. Since then, at Parliament House of India, I'm standing and I'm telling to our 100 friends of India, Mr. Narendra Modi and our MPs to pass the climate change law as soon as possible from the paper to become action. If they pass this climate change law, then we can control the carbon emission and greenhouse gases. And also, I drove at my school since February 2019 due to the protests every week in the Parliament House of India. And also, I have three main demands to our leaders and the government to change the system. Now, the first is to include and to pass this climate change law as soon as possible from the paper to become action. If they pass this climate change law, then can control the carbon emission and greenhouse gases. And also, it will also give the climate justice to the thousands of poor, vulnerable people who are already the victims of climate change. And number second is to include climate change as a compulsory subject in our school education curriculum. If they included climate change as a compulsory subject in our school education curriculum, then we can fight the climate change from the grassroots and it will also help to, to, uh, to tell our world leaders, to teach our world leaders by their own children and grandchildren because they can't believe in science and climate change is real. And as a result, the state of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Sikkim, Maharashtra, and Bihar has taken the in, has taken a new initiative to include climate change as a compulsory subject in our school education curriculum. After my request, from zero to over lakhs of schools in India will start teaching climate education in various schools in India. And also, now India has become the second country in the world of the Italy in the history of the world. This is the real change we want, and this is the real change bring by just nine years old girl. And, and also, um, after, the several after the several protests and petition filled to Supreme Court by many other climate activists, um, friends, finally, President of India enact a new application law in October 2020 in Delhi for the first time in the history of India. And to solve the Delhi air pollution crisis permanently. Even I was detained by the Delhi police for protesting um, to enact this law. And many people told me that I'm too young to get involved in such activism, but I proved them that age doesn't matter to make a difference. I'm big or small, it doesn't matter. I'm a good child. I'm strong, smart, intelligent, and brave. Many children and youth inspire from me. And a few months back, I also launched a new initiative called Monday for Mother Nature, where I plant thousands of trees with the school children every Monday with a mission to plant one million trees every year. So far, we have planted over 3.5 lakh trees. And... um. And also, um, and these are, and also today I have a small message to all the children of the world. Children must tell their parents that they sh that they should walk if it's nearby or they can use the bicycle. Please don't use car or bikes every time. And children must tell their parents that they shouldn't use single-use plastic at their home. And and also, they should not throw garbage or plastic on streets, ocean, rivers, seas, or any other places. 
And also, I want our government to shut down all the coal fire power plants and thermal power plants and replace it by clean energy. And also, I want to see we want to see more car and bikes, uh, more electric and solar car and bike instead of more petrol and diesel car and bikes, uh, vehicles. And, and also, these are the small things where we can do at home and to fight the climate change. These are the little things. And these little things can make a huge difference. And also today, and today I, I want to share something with everyone living in this world. We are to, and also, um, and also we are facing a pandemic on one side and flood, drought, heat wave, cyclone, locust, earthquake, air pollution, uh, air pollution, etc. at the other side. Now this is the time to wake up. This is the time to open up our eyes. This is the time to send your children and grandchildren to fight for their survival and for their own future. The best gift parents can give to their children is not beautiful house, expensive cars, lots of money. The best gift you can give to your children is a beautiful planet. To give this planet, you have to change yourself. If you can change yourself, then you can change your family. If you can change your family, then you can change your neighborhood. If you can change your neighborhood, then you can change your community. If you can change your community, then you can change your state. If you can if you can change your state, then you can change your community. If you can change if you can change your state, then you can change your country. If you can change your country, then you can change the whole world. Change means empowerment. Empowerment means independent. Independent means freedom. Freedom is when you can read and write. Freedom is when you are out of hunger. Freedom is when we are all together in this fight. Fight for your freedom. Thank you.